Welcome to this episode of Cash Canada. <laughs> We're on our way to a kind of a rare-er virtual. Rare, and spring water's in the back rare there. Er, er, rare-er, er, rare-er, er, yeah. Just come with us, but first we have to walk to get there. Can you imagine that? We couldn't yeah, get any closer geez. than that. <laughs> come on, let's go. Okay, it's kind of hard to see on video, but this is quite a steep grade. <laughs> There's a 70 foot drop in elevation from the top to the bottom over a 1900 foot distance. 70 feet, that's 70 all? 70 feet, that's all that's it says, but it seems feet. like so much that's, more. No, that's more than 70 feet. It has to be. Anyway, must have been we're 70 after. Meters. 70 no. meters? No. Oh. It was in feet, Karen. Uh. That's. They're it wrong. Be in meters, because oh. I know, but that's not 70 feet. <laughs> It's not. <laughs> okay, we're after this virtual for its rating. It is a one and a half, three, three and, and a half. half, and there are only 39 virtuals worldwide with that rating. And, we're and going there to are this 16 one. of them in the U.S., and this is one of them. And that's why we're here today, because we want to increase our virtual fizzy. This will give us one more square to a total of 81 different virtual caches overall. Crossing the bridge after the long walk takes you to the Devil's Backbone, a peninsula which was known as Fern Grove, a popular spot for church picnics and company gatherings. The Louisville and Jefferson Ferry Company purchased the land to increase ferry business and would bring visitors up to the island from Louisville. In 1923, businessman David Rose purchased the grounds and renamed it Rose Island and created Rose Island Amusement Park. The park survived the depression, but did not survive the flood of 1937. Only a few remnants of those days remain. And here we are at the real Ground Zero. Yeah, there's the dance hall, mm -hmm. the fire pit, yeah. the picnic tables. And the Arch of the Roses, which is where you need to take your picture. And make sure Psst. the instructions say, Psst. get your, what? It's Walkway of the Roses. What did I say? Arch. Oh, Walkway there, okay. Walkway of Roses. Okay. At the Walkway of the Roses. And make sure when you Psst. get your picture. It's Walkway of Roses. What did I say? It's Walkway of Roses. No the. the. Oh, I know. Whatever. I, I said that. Okay, it's the walk. It the walkway. The uh, walkway of roses. roses. Walkway. Okay. <laughs> walkway of roses. And make sure you get your. I don't care how I say it. <laughs> walkway of roses, and this is where. Take forty-two. <laughs> Are you done? No. I'll say it. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Walkway of Roses. Oh, okay, you ready? Walkway. We're at, we're at, we're, at, we're, at, we're, at, we're at Walkway of Roses. And this is where you need to get to, the walk, the Walkway of Roses. We're at the Walkway of Roses. And this is where you need to take your picture for this virtual cache. <laughs> Boy, it's been a rough day in here, I tell you. <laughs> and this is where you need to come to get your picture taken. But very important, you need to have your name and the date on a piece of paper in your picture that is clearly stated in the description of the cache page. So make sure you read descriptions always. I'm gonna take the picture. Why are you in a hurry? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. yeah. <laughs> so why did we bring you all the way here? Well, one, it's a kind of a cool spot and it's an interesting virtual. There's only uh, 39 of this rating worldwide. But the next virtual we're gonna take you to is even rarer. And it has five locations to go to. The posted coordinates and four waypoints that you need to get. And that's in Louisville, Kentucky. Coming up right now. But first, we have to get back up the hill. This is a killer grade. Holy doodle. Oh, we'll get there. And there we are. 
Welcome to Louisville. This is the Bridges the Gap virtual cache. Two yeah. bridges, two. Let's go find some waypoints. Five main bridges at Louisville give the River City a certain identity. From elegance and charm to modern art and architecture, residents and visitors can call on them to traverse and in a small way tame the mighty Ohio River. This five-stage virtual could almost be an adventure lab. Two questions per location help ensure the person logging the virtual was actually on site. With the Lincoln statue behind me, and the Lincoln namesake bridge ahead of me, this is why we came for this virtual. There are only six virtuals with this rating in the entire world. And there are only three of them in the United States. One of them being right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And that's one of the reasons we came, is we wanted to fill that square for a possible fizzy grid of 81 squares filled completely with, completely with just virtual caches. It would be an extremely difficult thing to do, but it is possible. A full virtual fizzy is possible, but there are 17 squares under five, and nine of those only have one or two caches per DT, but you can find all possible 81 combinations. We're all done bridging the gap. Yeah, that was a really cool virtual because of the rating that it has. I, that's what I liked. Yeah, it took us all over. Yeah, and we got to see so many neat bridges and a lot of the area on uh, the Ohio River. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really cool. New Albany, Indiana, and Louisville, Kentucky. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, where will geocaching take you? Take you.